Greg Woods, and I want to share with you my testimony and how good God is. Um, last October, uh, I started working out. I started going back to the gym. And, um, you know, if you hadn't been to the gym in a while, you, your, your muscle will be sore after for a couple of days. Um, and so I, I felt that soreness. And after a couple of days, I thought it was going to go away. And it didn't go away. And so I had pain in my chest. I had pain in my arms. I had pain in my neck. I had pain in my back. And, you know, I thought it was uh, just maybe old age, getting older. So I went to the doctor and the doctor said, no, you might have costochondritis, which is inflammation in the chest walls. Um, take a leave and it'll go away after a couple of days. So I took the leave. It helped, but it didn't go away. And so um, um, I still was feeling that pain. The pain. It was painful to cough. It was painful to sneeze. It was painful to breathe. It was painful to even laugh. Um, and so I went back to the doctor and the doctor said, well, we'll do a chest CT. And we did that and he saw lesions in my bones. So the radiologist diagnosed it as multiple myeloma, which is a blood cancer. And I couldn't believe my ears. I was in shock. And so I went to see an oncologist and the oncologist did a bone marrow biopsy. We did a bone marrow biopsy and it was confirmed uh, in May of this year that I had multiple myeloma. And like I said, I was in shock. I, I couldn't believe what I was hearing and, and uh, I just, I was just in, in so much, I just couldn't, couldn't, couldn't believe it. And so he started telling me what treatments would be and it was uh, treatments of um, four cycles, which were each cycle was a month and it was a three drug cocktail. So I took those three drugs for for a month for four cycles. And immediately I saw God's work. After the first cycle, two cycles, two weeks into the first cycle, I had no more no more pain. I had no pain in my chest. I had no pain in my back. I had no pain in my neck. I had no pain in my arms. And every time I went to the doctor, I had a great report from the doctor. He was like, giving me, telling me that this hadn't been, he hadn't seen this before and that I was a overachiever and that I was making it look easy. And I told him, no, that's not me. That's not, that's my God. I started praying about this and, and God heard my prayers and, he prepared me for this, and I didn't even know he was preparing me for this because my wife and another family member I saw go through breast cancer. Not My wife went through breast cancer not once but twice while she was pregnant. So I saw the strength that she had, and I thought maybe it was, you know, at the time I said it's her strength, but now I know it wasn't her strength, it was God's strength. And so... I saw another family member go through it, through breast cancer. And I saw her strength at the time. I thought it was her strength, but it was not her strength. It was God's strength. And so he was preparing me for this the whole time. He, he, he had prepared me for this. I, Minister Hope came and visited me in the hospital. And um, one thing that she said in her prayer that I held on to was she said that um, God, you knew this day was coming. I was like, yeah, yeah. He did know this day was coming. He knew what was going to happen. I just kept praying and, and having faith in God. And one scripture that, that I held on to was Isaiah 41.10, which reads, Fear not, for I am your God. Fear not, for I am with you. 
Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. I held on to that scripture, to that verse, that Bible verse, the whole time. And another song that came on immediately after I saw the oncologist. I was getting in my car and I got, was going home. And the song that came on the radio immediately when I got in was I'm Still Gonna Trust by Joshua Rogers. And I held on to that song. Another song, which is an old hymn that a, a former pastor of mine used to always say, was my hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame than wholly lean on Jesus' name. It's on Christ, the solid rock I stand. All other ground is sinking sand. I held on to those things and those things gave me the strength along with God's grace and God's mercy. And I'm just here to tell you that all you have to do is have faith the size of a mustard seed and believe and give it to God and he will see you through. He will see you through. I have went through all those four cycles and had a stem cell transplant, which is where they remove the blood from your body. They extract it from your body and then they put it back. Then you get chemo and they put it back. And they told me that I needed 10 million, um, 10 million, I need to make, my body need to make 10 million uh, stem cells. And that it would take two days, five hours each day. And so we started that process and the first day, the very first day, my body made not 10 million, not 5 million, it made 17 million cells in less than five hours. And I knew that was not my work. It was not my strength. It was God's strength. And so he, he gave me that strength. He gave me that blessing. And they were able to freeze those, freeze those blood cells and when it was time to give them back, they gave it back to me and um, all went well. And I was in the hospital. I was supposed to be in the hospital for three weeks. I was only in the hospital for two weeks. I said, that's not my strength. That's God's strength. That's not me, that's God. And so I sit here today to tell you that I feel much better and it's not because of what I did. It's all the things that God put around me. He put teams around me. He put the doctors, the caretakers. He, get, he put that team together. He put a team of prayer warriors together, which is you. And I thank you for your prayers. He put my support. He gave me a supporting and loving family. And he gave me a supporting and loving wife. And all those things helped me to be where I am right now. And I thank God for it.